Ed and I were going to drop Ranger in the woods for a little bit, and uh, got a friend that came up, and he brought a handful of dogs, hunting dogs. They're mostly going to be hunting for bear, but a lot of people will start even a, a bear dog on squirrels, even a coon dog. A lot of people will start them on squirrels. Just teach them the tree, and then later on, uh, they'll get them on a bear, and most of them will never go back and tree another squirrel after they get used to it. But since it's squirrel season, then uh, they're going to be out trying to see if they can get them treeing on a squirrel. And uh, I'm going to take my dog along because he will tree a squirrel. It'd be good for his dog, and it'd be good for my dog to be with other dogs to see how they interact and and do a little bit of training. It, uh, it rained, it snowed uh, about an inch, inch and a half of snow last night. So that's going to cause a little bit of diff difficulties, be a little bit different uh, in the snow. The squirrels will move a lot of times in the snow. Sometimes they'll move all day, just off and on. They still look for food, and but they do stay close to the to their home, which is a den tree. So a lot of times on a day like this, you end up treeing a lot of den tree squirrels. And the later you get into the winter, the closer they stay to the to the tree. So as winter gets longer, the squirrels seem to stay close to the den tree. So you end up barking at a whole lot of trees and you don't see anything. So that's just the way it goes. But we're gonna give it a try and drop Ranger out in the snow and uh, see how he does. Is the these are the tools of the trade so I'm a dog lead and uh, I got this nice binocular case off my son and uh, it was his uh, he had bought this and hadn't wasn't using so I'm permanently borrowing it from him and uh, so they're pretty nice I don't have a very expensive pair of binoculars but I have a pair at least I can uh, I can get up in the woods and see up in the trees a little bit and uh, anyway, got me a squirrel vest, and I can put the squirrels back here. It's got good pockets in it to put some, uh, just put some ammo in it. Uh, neat trick I learned from a friend many years ago. I've got a little, just a little bottle, medicine bottle. And that's where I keep my 22 bullets in. And uh, this neat little idea keeps them dry, keeps them all together, and they don't flop around everywhere. And to keep getting my squirrel vest too bloody and dirty, and I carry a just a. Walmart bag I put back there just to wrap the squirrel up in. And it keeps my vest from getting too nasty. I'm not that clean of a person, but I don't like getting my new vest dirty. So. Anyway, that's just kind of the tool of the trade. And I've got a gun in a truck getting it out. And then you got to have the dog, which you can hear him. All right, baby fish. Come on. What are you doing? Huh? Hmm? You gonna go meet some friends? Like I said, there was uh, there was like two holes in the tree. It was one on one side, one on the other, and so it's just one of those things in the winter time that uh, squirrels stay real close to their den tree. And he did pretty good. He was having a little bit of a hard time finding the squirrel. Then he got pretty acrobatic there, as you as you can see, jumping up on the tree. So anyway, two big holes up the top of the tree. So we'll 
move on and see if we can find another one. that you'd see that i don't know if you tell from the video or not today but we walked a very long uh, ways today uh we were we were in a wildlife management area and it is a very long ways to the back end of it and we went way back in there uh, with the dogs and uh of course my dog is a little bit more advanced than than uh, my friend's dogs are his are just pups they were just hanging along with mine mine's a pup uh but he being that he is already treeing he was doing a good job, just still learning a whole lot. Uh, we put a lot of miles on our feet today. And so I would say that uh, somebody a long time ago when I was uh, <clears throat> I was learning to train the squirrel dogs and fool with the dogs, and uh, I had somebody give me some advice one time on training a squirrel dog, probably the best advice I have ever gotten. And they said the best thing to do is go down to the local store, where they, a boot store where they sell boots, and buy uh buy a really good pair of boots about the time that you wear that pair of boots out your dog should be doing pretty good and uh, once you get your next pair and get started in it about halfway through that pair of boots you'll have a pretty good dog and that's just about the truth of it you know a scroll dog takes a lot of patience and if you like to be outside just to be out in the outdoors and you like to have a dog hanging around with you anyway i, I really enjoy the dog being with me uh, but the dog's not gonna learn anything behind the cage. So if he's always looking through the cage, trying to see what's outside the cage, uh, he's not gonna learn. He's not gonna learn anything, or she's not gonna learn anything like that. So they have to be in the woods, uh, right or wrong. Just get them out in the woods and just let them be a dog. Uh, over the years, I've had a, quite a few uh, pups that I've tried to start. I've had three or four, probably four, that were just natural pups. Did. They did. I really didn't do a whole lot of them. Show them a squirrel, and uh, they start a tree, and and that those are easy. Those are easy dogs. The ones that are hard, the ones that don't do that right off the bat. I've had uh, the pup I've got now. He's been treeing since he was five months old. One of the uh, two of the other dogs I've had are really good. They start treeing four, five months old, and those are easy dogs. Uh, but the hard ones, the ones that may not tree for a year, a year and a few months. And those are the harder. They take a lot more patience to uh, to get those going. A lot more boot time. Uh, you may wear the tread out on a couple pairs of boots for a dog like that gets going. But uh, if you like being in the outdoors, it'll be fun either way. So that's about as good advice I can give. Hope you, uh, you see the dog today. They're, he's just learning to uh, get along with another dog. 
uh, what it's like to have other dogs around when he's treeing and another dog comes running up. Have you seen the video or not? But we actually, uh, in one part of the video, we shoot a we shoot a squirrel out, and when the squirrel hits the ground, then you know my dog has never had another dog challenging with a squirrel, and so he picks a squirrel up and takes off running. There was some there was a little catastrophe there for just a few minutes, but uh, anyway, he he came back around and dropped the dropped the, the squirrel back to me. Brought it back to me. And the other dogs were there and uh, trying to get the squirrel. It, looked, it was interesting, but it was a good learning experience uh, for him. I learned a little bit too. I probably should have tied him off and that would have saved a whole lot of trouble. And But I didn't. Uh, so he learned a little bit and I learned a little bit. And anyway, it was a good time out in the woods. And I uh, hope you enjoyed it. Mm -hmm.